Hi guys, my name is Shachi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about how to make a productive to-do list. Now, I love making to-do lists. There is something about checking off tasks on a to-do list that gives me so much happiness. So obviously, I have been making them for a very long time. And in fact, this is how my to-do lists used to look like. I would have multiple ones, one for home, one for office, one for personal and they would be all over the place, on the fridge, on the laptop, on the table. Yet at the end of the day, either I would forget to do something on one of the lists or I would do everything and still feel unproductive. So that is why I decided to change the way I was making my to-do list and this is what I want to share with you today. Are you ready? Let's get started. So on the screen, I have shared the format that I use now for making my to-do list. And compared to what I was doing earlier, there are three big changes. Number one, no more multiple lists. So everything that I have to do in a day, be it work, personal or anything else, goes on this particular list. This is the only piece of paper that I need to refer to as I go through my day. And since there are different categories, which I'll come to in a little while, I don't have to worry about getting things mixed up. Number two, I use the principle of prioritization. As you can see on the screen that this format of a task list has different categories. There is most important, high priority, medium priority and additional tasks. So the first category that is the most important has just one task. But this is the most important thing to be done in a day and accomplishing this will add maximum value to my day. Once I'm done with the most important, I move to the next category that is a high priority task. And here I list about three things in the order of their importance and tackle them once I'm done with the first category. Third comes medium priority. Uh, in medium priority, I list about two or three things depending on my day. Sometimes I might just skip this category altogether. But the thing is that if I finish the tasks on medium priority as well, then I know that I've been super productive. And in the end comes the additional tasks. Here I usually list mundane repetitive things or certain personal things which have to be done and which can be either skipped for that day if there is no time or which can be done in the later part of the day. So in this way, I start with what is important to me, what will add maximum value to me and then move further down the list. And there is no more wasting long hours on busy, unproductive work and feeling like you've accomplished nothing. And number three, I make my day progressively less stressful. Why? Because I get the important, difficult things done earlier in the day when I have high energy, high willpower and high patience and leave the easier, not so important things for the later part of the day when I have low energy, low willpower and low patience. So in this way, I sink my work and energy levels and make my day progressively less stressful and also more productive. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Do try out this method of making a to-do list and I promise you there will be a big difference in your productivity. In case you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer them. You can also get in touch with me via Instagram or email. And in case you want a copy of this to-do list, then head to my website theprimelife.com. It's absolutely free to download. So I'll catch you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content. Take care and bye.